How's it going, AC fam? Hope you guys are all having a great week. I want to encourage somebody today who you've maybe counted yourself out. You've looked at the reality of your situation and you're saying, God could never use somebody like me. In the scripture, we love to preach about it. We love to preach about Peter, the Peter who left his fisherman business to answer the call of Jesus without looking or turning back. We love to preach about the Peter who walked out boldly on water to Jesus. We love to preach about the Peter that said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And it's very easy at moments where we feel like we're on those highs that we can say, I feel like Peter in this moment. But the same Peter that said, you are the Christ was the same Peter that denied him three times at the most intense and pivotal point of Jesus's life here on earth. At one point, Peter said, you are the Christ to his face, to Jesus's face. But as soon as outsiders got around, he choked up and denied Jesus three times. And maybe you've been in that moment, you know, that you needed to speak to that friend about Jesus. You needed to speak to that coworker about Jesus. You needed to speak to that family member about Jesus. And you denied him in the sense of not speaking to them about him. Or maybe in your own private and hidden way, you've denied Jesus in a way that is not really like your character. And in these moments, you can face guilt and shame. The difference is when we look at Peter's story, we know it all. We know that after he denied Jesus, he went and he preached on the day of Pentecost. And after he denied Jesus, he went to the city of Samaria in Acts chapter 8 and laid hands on this city that they receive the Holy Ghost. And we know the entire story of Peter. But what's different to us is we do not see. We can't flip a couple pages over and see how everything unravels. But I want to encourage somebody. Scripture also says this in Psalm 103, verses 10 through 14. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as high, uh, for as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. You might feel like Peter after denying Jesus today, but if you just keep on holding on and seeing out Jesus and the journey that he is taking you on, you will see the redemption of God and how is he, he's going to use you as part of his story. Thank you, everybody. Have a great and awesome week.